Okay, so I'm going to be having the first negative rebuttal, and I'm going to restate and bring about the three um, three disadvantages from the affirmative's claim, which was that the United States should not pursue deportation for all undocumented immigrants in this country, but rather seek out other alternatives such as immigration reform. And the three claims that I have in response to that is that deportation is too expensive and therefore should not be pursued as a viable option. Um, my second claim is that illegal <coughs> immigrants make up a significant part of the economy and deporting them will result in, a, in major economic consequences. And the third is that breaking apart families would be counterproductive as many of, the, uh, many of these illegal immigrants currently have deep family roots in the U.S. and children who are also citizens. So in regard to the first claim that there are over 11 million illegal immigrants currently living in the U.S., uh, in an article from Newsweek it was stated that um, based on previous analysis from the Center of American Progress, a mass deportation strategy would cost an average of $10,070 per person and a total of $114 billion to remove 11.3 million people. And these costs would cover the process of tracking down and removing the 11 million, million migrants. Finding 11 million people spread across the country would also be a, logis a logistical nightmare. In a recent interview with CNN, Republican president candidate, presidential candidate frontrunner Donald Trump stated that uh, you're going to have a deportation force and you're going to do it humanely. And it is likely that a new government agency would have to be created in order to detain the 11 million immigrants. And this is guaranteed to be very expensive and funded by taxpayer money. Estimates of the cost of this event are as high as $600 billion and in a dramatic expansion of current resources. And that brings me to my second claim that, uh, and once again, uh, according to the Pew Research Center, Research Center um, there are 11.3 million unauthorized immigrants in the U.S. in 2014. The population has remained essentially stable for five years and currently makes up 2.5 percent of the nation's population. Um, and lastly, from the same article, Goodman states that in terms of overall numbers, the deportation of labor re reports that the 2.5 million farm workers in the U.S. over half, 53% are illegal immigrants. Growers and labor unions put this figure at 70%. If we deport a large number of undocumented illegal immigrants, there will be a large number of labor shortage allowing for potential prices of many goods to skyrocket. These immigrants work jobs that are deemed undesirable but essential to our daily lives as the, as, and as a result the prices of many goods are, they stay down. And changes to the status quo could ripple in other parts of the economy and cause economic disaster. And for my last point, um, in, a, in a quote, in a quote from, the, from Tom McCarthy of The Guardian regarding recent statements made by Trump, um, he states that the USDA has also warned that any potential immigration reform could have a significant impact on the U.S. fruit and vegetable industry. With the billions of dollars that it would take the U.S. to already <coughs> track and detain migrants, the question would have to be asked whether or not Americans would be willing to spend extra billions to humanely and transport them in ideal conditions uh, or decrease costs in, a, in an attempt to limit taxes resulting in a declining treatment of these individuals. Um, Frank O'Donnell stated that in an article that um, titled, What Would Deporting <coughs> 11 Million People Look Like? He states that Americans would be faced with the serious questions about giving up many protections of individual rights. Are you going to focus on enforcing Enforcement only in neighborhoods that have a lot of Hispanics, or are we going to randomly stop people all around the country? Rosenblum, Rosenblum asks. The former is going to raise all kinds of civil liberty issues, that, and the latter is going to be a lot more expensive. i got to cut you off here. You're over time.